Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Free Random Games, a series where I find some of the most random games out there on the internet, and I play them for you guys right here in this video. I can't promise you guys that they're going to be any good, but I can promise you guys that we're going to have some fun, so if you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. First game of today's episode is called Don't Close Your Eyes, and it says When the Night Comes. Dark creatures step out of the shadows. Weirdos? Perverts? They wait until you fall asleep. See? They're perverts. They're creepos. Creepazoids. Why they gotta wait till I fall asleep? Come on, man. Be a real monster and just wait till I use the bathroom or something. Don't close your eyes. I won't. You guys got that? You don't close your eyes either. Keep them open the entire time. I don't care how dry they get. We doing this. Nobody's closing anybody's eyes, even if you got a little crazy like this. Here's Sarah. My name ain't Sarah. It's you from the past. I know you don't remember anything. That's because you have amnesia. What? Man, that's such a cop out. You write a note to yourself every night to help you remember how to survive the night. Okay, we'll figure it out, guys, right? We'll figure this out. Oh my god, no, we won't. Why do I have so many doors in my house? Press E? Six, five, four, three. Whoa. Oh no, I don't like this. Flashlight? Oh, I barely have any battery, though. You can cast spells to protect the doors. If a demon attacks the protected door, it can enter, but the spell will be broken. To cast a spell, select one of the sigils and trace over them as good as you can. Oh, my God. What was that? What in the dickens was that? Was that Mama? Papa? Mama, Papa? I heard a door creak, man. That wasn't a fart out of my asshole, either. Hold up. Let's see. I have to trace this. This is actually pretty dope. Now you guys get to see how whack my uh, skills are. These art skills do not pay the bills. You guys have seen my Bimmy <gasps> before. Oh, that is actually really cool. Okay, I've never seen that in a horror game before. So we got to win Guardian Leviosa that shit. Okay, I'm on my Hermione. Let's make a triangle with an A because A. All right, guys. What was that? I thought I heard another creak. I'm confused. I don't even know what to do. Okay, let me cast another spell. This one right here. Trace fast, Jay. Cast. Bam! Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna keep doing that. Gotta do an upside down Dorito with a little tail. Squiggly shits. And an underscore. Cast! It didn't do it! Dude, that was my best tracing. Now I'm doing dog shit. Oh. Oh. What is that? <gasps> Whoa! What is that? What is that? Oh, dude. <gasps> wow, wow. Whoa. Whoa. What the heck? Okay, 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 okay. Dude, game over. You lost your sanity. I didn't know a great value Chucky was going to be right in front of my face. Okay, that actually got me real quick. You know, just a little bit, not that much. Okay, we got this. Let's go. Okay, so once the door opens, then some guy is going to appear right at my bed step. Does that make any sense? Bed step? No, my foot of my bed, not bed step. What the hell am I even talking about? Okay, so we just gotta draw these. I actually like this mechanic right here. The fact that you gotta draw these magic spells. But who am I though? Am I a freaking wizard, Harry? <gasps> oh my god! What the heck? I didn't even hear that bitch! <gasps> what the fuck? What do I do? Dude! Okay, I don't know what to do. I just gotta take it. That actually creeped me out. I didn't even hear the door open. If they get in your room, turn on the radio. The noise scares them off. Your flashlight recovers your sanity, but if you use it too much, you'll run out of battery. Okay. So I just have to turn on the radio. You know, we gotta play some tunes if we hear or see the monster. I thought I heard something. Keep drawing. Oh, keep drawing, Jay. Bam. Oh, God. Turn it on. Oh, cool down 38. What? What you mean? <gasps> what you mean, cool down 38? No. <gasps> no. Come on. Come on, cool down 27. Oh, you got me messed up, dude. Is he still here? Yes. He's still here. Come on. Okay, we just got to wait 20 seconds, guys. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. Okay, never mind. She's going to lose her breath gasping so much. She's going, uh, 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 uh. The parents are going to think she's doing something like this. <laughs> she's like, is her boyfriend here again? Oh, I'm going to get the baseball bat. I'm going to whoop his ass. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. BAM! Bitch! Okay, we gotta be fast. Really fast. That ambience is getting thicker. It's getting thicker like a big old booty. Let's go. And then one more. What the heck is this, dude? Look like sperm. Look like wiggly piglies. 
Okay. Make that. Bam. <gasps> I did all doors. I did all doors. Come on, get out of my face. I did it. Now what? Suck it. Suck it. Okay, what do I do? I did everything. I have all symbols on all doors. No way that fool could get in, right? Uh-oh. Nope. Gotta do this. Please don't come in. If you come in, I'm gonna slap your mom. I'm gonna slap your mom in the face. Got it. Okay. Whew. Oh, shit. What door was that? What door was that? Was it this? Focus. Oh, he's back. He's back for that crack. He's back for my big juicy pal crack. <gasps> yep. Eight seconds. Got it. Okay. That's all we got to do. Come on. Couple more seconds. Then I got to put two more spells on the door. There you go. Okay. Uh, I think it's this one. Okay. And then the one directly across from that, which is this one. Yeah, this game is cool, but it's low-key annoying. Low-key. Low-key annoying. Because the spells go away. Okay. Oh, shoot. Dude, come on, bro. Oh, he's back. Yep, he's back. He's back. I think I'm done. So basically, all you gotta do is just put the spells on the door, and then just stare at this guy, and if he lowers down your sanity, you're done. This next game is called Child at Home. Your parents leave you all at home by yourself. And I'm assuming that's your parents? I don't know where they're going. And I don't think that they're coming back. I don't even know if this is scary. It might be. Shoot. It's probably scary. I bet you something's gonna happen. Like the lights are gonna turn off or something. Something crazy. Hold up, we got a remote right here. Why do I have to be the shortest kid in the world, man? All right, hold up. Press that. Local base under threat. Hold up, I gotta get closer. I don't got that 2020 vision. The Fletcher Town military base is reportedly under threat from unknown. Come on, man. Resize your TV. Emergency broadcast in progress. This is not a test. The government of the Republic has issued a civil defense warning. The following instructions are vital for your safety. What? What you mean? Bro, I'm just trying to see my mama and my papa. Where is my ma and where is my pa? Hold up. Oh, answer. Mama? Hey, it's your dad. Uh, don't panic, but there's something going on. I've got to stay at the base for a bit, so just stay inside and stay safe, okay? Bro, I'm like one years uh, old. I don't know what you're saying right now. For the window shutters. All I know is Google and Gaga. A square remote with a glowing red button. I think I left it in the box under the coffee table. Just press the button. Uh, I'll be home real soon. What? He said he left something underneath the coffee table. You guys heard that? I think it's underneath these books. Psych! No, it's not. Where's the coffee table? Hold up. Coffee table. Uh-oh. Lights are turning off. Oh, no. Okay, wait, wait, wait. The dad said he left something for me. What is that? Oh! What is going on here? All right, hold up. Give me the box! What's in a box? He said there was like a red button underneath the coffee table. Daddy? Daddy, I'm scared! Answer the phone! Uh, hey kid, I just remembered that I left the remote in the drawer underneath the phone. Should be in there. Uh, I'll be home any minute now. I'm just getting in the car. Stay calm, buddy. Oh, there it is. I pressed it. I pressed it. Daddy, I pressed it. Hold on. I gotta get a chair. What the heck? What the heck? Bro, World War 3 outside my house? Hold up. I did not sign up for this. Okay, hold up. We got to drag this. We got to drag bodies. What the heck? Okay. I don't know what's happening, but I got to get my chair. Come on, get my favorite chair. Get my favorite chair. It won't go through. I got to get on this couch. I got to get on this shit stained couch. Come on. Oh. Oh my goodness, dude. Okay. Press that. Press it. I'm pressing it and I don't know what's going on. What's that? Your child's well-being. You don't know shit about what? I died. I died. I'm restarting that again. Hey kid, it's your dad. Uh, Let me shut this shit off. Me, but there's something going on. I've 
gonna stay at the base for a bit, so just can't shut it off? stay safe, okay? Uh, see if you can find the remote for the window shutters. It should be almost like a square remote with a glowing red button. I think I left it in the box under the coffee table. Just press the button. Uh, I'll be home real soon. Wait, is it this one? Is this what he's talking about? This is what he's talking about, right? Hold on, it's one of these. Okay, so that's how we survive. I have to find out which one of these works. Why do I have so many of the same freaking remotes? Can't click that. And I'm pretty sure I can't click this, right? Because why should I be able to? Come on. Come on. Come on, asswipe. That's not it. Okay. Open that. Uh, I think he's talking about this. I just remembered that I left the remote in the drawer underneath the phone. Should be in there. Uh, I'll be home any minute now. I'm just getting in the car. Okay. Stay calm, buddy. I'll be there soon. Shut the shutters. Shut the freaking shutters. Oh, there you go. Yes, I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. Shut it! Why won't it shut all the way? Come on! Shut the shutters. I'm gonna die. Dude, I'm gonna be barbecue. Dude, please. Oh, I hear the bombs. I hear the missiles. I think I gotta keep pressing it. I'm freaking dead. Come on. Press it. No, it won't go down. That's as far as it can go. Dad, why did you get such shitty shutters? Man, that's a tongue twister right there. Such shitty shutters. I'm dead. Well, see you later, guys. I'll be back never. Yeah, that's uh, that's hell right in front of me right there. Child at home, ladies and gentlemen. You know what? I'll take it. I'll accept it. Come give it to me. This next game is called Taxi by Night. I don't know anybody that would want to take a taxi by night because it's 2019. Just take a freaking Uber. Nobody uses these yellow cabs anymore. This isn't the 1800s. But we are apparently the taxi driver and we're a vampire. And we want to suck everybody's blood. We want to suck everybody's blood and we might want to suck everybody's nipples. I don't know. We're about to find out right now, guys. <laughs> I don't even know why I even said that. But... Like I said, we're a vampire, so can we get the show on the road, please? No pun intended. The wind was blowing cold on my face through the open window. My car piercing the city's heart like a golden bullet, making its way through the concrete giants that were mostly asleep. Up ahead, a figure leaning against the light post raised his hand to call my attention. It was 5.45. That meant I had time for one more run before the sun came knocking to wake up the city of New Wenders. I slowed down gently as I approached him. He was wearing a leather jacket with the collar raised and had a gray beret covering his short blonde hair. Just get the freaking guy in the cab already! What am I doing reading this novel? Can you take me over to the east side? He was a young lad, looked like the Bon Vivant type. Come inside, I said. Mind if I smoke? No problem. Thank you, he said as he got in the back seat. I set the clock running and started driving again. So, do you always work at night? I know he wouldn't be quiet for long. Uh-huh, I replied. Why well, up? I enjoyed the loneliness, too hot during the day. I don't have a choice, really. Yeah, I'm a vampire. I don't have a choice, really. How come? The boss has to say I just drive. I am a vampire. He takes a moment to process what I just said and then burst out laughing. So, what is your plan? Suck me dry and dump my body in the river? Whoa, I ain't that kind of vampire. I ain't trying to suck nobody dry. I took a few seconds to answer. I could tell something was off with him. The lad was nervous as a chicken on the way to the pan. Why not? Maybe some other day. He laughs, a bit relieved. I turned my attention to the deserted road and keep driving. Soon, we would cross the bridge and I would have to make a decision about this piece of shit. I can't deny that the smell of blood aroused my appetite, even though I was not particularly hungry. A breath of fresh air washed away the cigarette smell as we moved above the river. East side was not far now. Drive him to the destination, take him for a little detour. Hey, where the fuck are we going? The fear in his voice is palpable. Taking a shortcut or oh, remain silent. Yeah, I'm the silent type. I am talking to you. I could feel my pale skin blushing with excitement as the blood started to pump through my veins, agitated by a deep and dark instinct I've come to know too well. Stop this card now! It was a bit late for him to start screaming. Now, the only ones who would hear him would be the frogs and the fishes. I stopped the car under the bridge, just a few feet away from the riverbank. 
By this point, I was still unsure if I was going to suck him dry or let him go back to his miserable life. He would not remember this anyway. I don't want any bloodstains on my seat, so I get out of the car and open the passenger door. He jumps out and starts running. Trip him or grab him. I'm going to trip him, then I'm going to suck him dry. <laughs> the lad is a slow-moving target. In a fraction of a second, I am by his side. Holy crap, this is so much freaking text! Just suck his goddamn blood already! There you go. Bite this sucker. Bite this mother sucker, dude. I'm not scared. Oh, I have choices? Why is that a choice? Bruh. Why is that a choice? Why would I bite him there? I'm gonna bite him on the neck, duh! Press escape to stop sucking, bro. I push his lifeless body down the riverbank. The fish will not sleep alone tonight. Why was there an option in the middle, guys? Why? Why would we want to suck him there? Come on, we ain't that kind of vampire, like I said. This game is so stupid, bro. Go home. To be continued, thank you for playing. What in the world? Come on, man, we ain't that kind of vampire. <laughs> Last game of today's episode is called Eat the Rich. And there's a quote that says, When the people shall have nothing more to eat, they will eat the rich. What? What does that even mean? Eat the rich, all right. Got a bunch of these guys. Don't know what's going on here, but we are gonna press space to start, and we are gonna do this. Enter shop, grab items, buy items, score sweet savings. That's my face, guys. That's what I wanna look like at the end of this episode, so let's go. Oh, I control them like this? Why? What am I even doing? Who are these three idiots that I'm controlling? I have no idea, but we jumped over that because we said forget going through it. I need some savings. Give me my savings on my fish. Give me that sweet fish. I have $12 of potential savings. Love it. All right, I guess I can't get the chainsaw, but I got two fish and I have an apple. That's smart shopping, I think. And let's put that here. How much money did I get? Or how much money did I save? No idea. But well done. Okay. Um, yeah, there you go. Yeah, just do the little. Uh... Oh, so now I got more people. Now I got more crazy people to join me. Okay. Cool. Let's do it, guys. Hop over. Yeah, that's the team. Ooh, grab those big, thick, veiny bananas. What? That's what I'm talking about. There's a bike helmet. Gonna need that for myself, by the way, I'm running. TV. Get that TV. Toilet paper for my sweet pink asshole. And just grab one more thing. One more thing and we out of here. Yeah, give me those savings. Oh, pay for the helmet. No, we're not thieves. Pay for the helmet. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, guys. This game was not what I was expecting. But you know what? These guys are cute and they got thick cheeks. So we're just gonna make them save a little bit more. And then I think I'm gonna end this episode. All right, guys, but that's gonna do it for this episode of Free Random Games. If you guys would like to see more episodes of this series, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!